Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the new gel bronzers that have just been released by Jones Road. Now I have two out of the three shades and I will be trying both of these on for you and also swatching them against a couple of other cream bronzers in my collection. And I am filming this in all natural light so hopefully you will be able to see the undertones well. So thank you very much for joining me. So Jones Rowan is owned by Bobby Brown, and she says that the reason that she decided to uh, look into making a gel bronzer is because it's a product that has long been used by her dad. So he is in his 80s now, and he doesn't wear any other cosmetics, apparently. But he has been wearing this one, she says, ever since he, she could remember, all the way, way back to the 19, it looks like 1970s or 1980s. So this is a product that uh, is something that you can wear regardless of whether you're wearing any other makeup. It looks really easy going. The idea is that it doesn't look like you're wearing anything at all, but it just gives you a little bit of color. So that's how I think I'm going to try to wear it today. All I have on my face right now is the Jones Road face pencils and some eyebrow pencil and a little bit of mascara. And I did put on some lipstick, but other than that, I don't have anything on. So I want to see if the Jones Road bronzers make a difference for me. So I'm not sure which brand of gel bronzer uh, Bobby Brown's father has been using, but I looked up all the different uh, products that are on the market, and there aren't that many of them. The one that I have tried in the Sephora store was the one that was by Milk Makeup, and I found that that one was a little bit too neutral for my skin tone. They only had one that was uh, appropriate for me, and it didn't really look right on me, so I kind of didn't uh, put much more thought into the whole category of uh, gel bronzers. There's also one that's from uh, Drunk Elephant, which I haven't tried, but which some people do seem to like. Uh, there is one that is from Clinique uh, that I might be interested in trying at some point. And there is one that is from a uh, a company called Dr. Hauschka, which I've never even seen before or really heard about until I started looking into this. In addition, there's a company called Iconic London. I've never tried anything from that company either, but they have six shades of this. And there's also one from Laura Mercier. Now, the one from Laura Mercier is actually just released about uh, three or four months ago, and that one does come in six shades. And looking at the reviews and the product as it appears on the website, I am kind of interested in that one. So I'm going to uh, try try to see if I can find that to at least go and swatch uh, and to try on in the store. But in general, I think that this is a fairly uh, interesting category that not many people that I know have used. And so I'm kind of interested to keep to start trying it myself. So in terms of looking at the undertones of these, I took uh, five of the bronzers that are cream that I have in my collection that many other people have as well so that you can compare those uh, to the uh, New Jones Road ones. So the New Jones Road ones are swatched on my wrist and then the others are from top to bottom. The one at the top is the uh, Say Sun Melt in the color medium bronze. Uh, the next one is the Fenty Cheeks Out in Butter Biscuit. The one in the middle is the Westman Atelier Contour Stick in the shade Truffle, which she advises using as a bronzer if you have a, a light skin tone. Uh, the next one on there is the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles. And the one at the bottom is the Merit uh, Bronze Balm in Quince. So you can compare those against the two lighter shades of the new Jones Road Bronzer. The one that's uh, nearer to the other swatches is the uh, light color. And then the one that's uh, the medium color, that one has a bit more of a reddish tone to it. So to my eyes, the new color looks the most like either the Say Sun Melt in Medium Bronzer or maybe even the Merit Bronze Balm uh, that's in Quince. So I think I've always thought that both of those have a kind of a golden color to them. And the, the other one, the, the, um, the medium color in the New Jones Road, that one looks a little bit more like the Westman Atelier in Truffle, I think. So in trying on a lot of different bronzers over time, especially powder bronzers, what my feeling is is that I don't necessarily do all that well with golden colors. I tend to do well either with peach 
or if I use it really sparingly with more of a little bit of a reddish color. So I'm a little bit interested to see whether or not that seems to be the case uh, with these gel bronzers as well. I've experimented with them a little bit, but not yet on camera, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. So when I have seen Bobbi Brown applying this product, I feel like she is using mostly fingers and applying it uh, not all over the face, but rather uh, more, a little more strategically on the parts where the sun would hit the face. So that's what I will try to do right now to start out with, just to see how it goes. So I'll put a little bit of this on my palm and you can see that this is a fairly thick product. It's not running real fast. And I will try just dabbing a little bit of it on with my fingertips to start out with, and then uh, maybe we'll uh, use a brush uh, to try to rub it in a bit more. So I kind of feel this looks a little bit on the, the yellowish side to me. Uh, my favorite color in a bronzer, bronzer is usually tends to be a peach color. And if I can get a little bit of a, a golden color and a, a pink color, then that tends to work well for me. So let's try just uh, brushing this in a little bit. This is a brush from Say. You could, if you have the Jones Road Everything brush, you could use that one as well. And I'll put a little bit more of this on. So this is why I decided to buy two shades, because when I looked at the website, I felt like this color might not work ideally on me. And I, I kind of feel like that's the case, just uh, putting it on in, in the uh, camera screen, that it, it looks like it's not really my favorite shade, but I think if your, your skin tends to be a little bit more of just a plain golden color, uh, that this could be a, a nice shade. And I don't think it looks terrible on me. And I think if I added some blush, that it probably would look better. And I think my idea with a product like this would be to just put it on my face when I'm wearing almost nothing and then be out the door just to look a little better like like uh, Bobby Brown's father does. So you can see what you think of this. So the shade of lipstick that I have on is Pink Rose. So let's uh, go ahead and try just a little bit of that uh, to go along with it, just to see how that changes the color of this bronzer. So I kind of feel like if I add a little bit of blush uh, to this color, then it's not too bad. But it, but that it really needs to have the blush with it. So that gives me a little bit of a, a sunburned look that, that, that does look a little bit more bronzy than if I had just put on blush and nothing else. Okay, so I will go and try to and take off all that and then I will uh, start over again so we can see what the other color looks like. So I took off all the makeup that I was wearing and now I'll just put the basics back on. So this is my eyebrow pencil from Jones Road that goes on really easily in the shade Ash. And this is the one brow pencil that I have that I feel that I can use without using it in addition to a brow gel that goes with it. So, uh, and I feel like that's fast enough and looks good enough for the time being. So now I'll put on a little bit of the Jones Road face pencils. So this is shade number six, which I use as a corrector. And then I will use this shade number five, just to touch up some of the redness that I see on the camera monitor. And then I will use this everything brush to kind of buff it in a little bit. And 
And now let's try a little bit of this medium shade of bronzer. So I'll put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then I'll try to be uh, real gentle with this just to make sure we don't go overboard. So again, you can see that this is a pretty thick product. It doesn't uh, fall down very easily. So let's just dab a little bit of it on to start with and then see how it goes. So even though it's a little bit on the darker side, it definitely has that clear base to it. So it smooths into the face really easily. And once it goes on, it really looks like it's a natural part of my skin uh, rather than something that is put on as a cosmetic. And I don't think I want to put too much of this on my forehead, but I will put just a little bit of it on the bridge of my nose and uh, just to kind of give it a little bit of a, an idea that it's just been touched by the sun and I just have the very vaguest sunburn. So this really looks more like I've just spent some time outside and uh, I'm not really wearing any makeup at all, which I, I kind of like. Let's put a little bit more on, see how much we can get away with. So let's get out that buffing brush and see if we can make this look even more natural. So I feel like I've just, I'm looking kind of healthy and like I've been working out in the yard or going for a nice long walk without my hat on, which, which I never do, but being a little bit sunburned looking doesn't necessarily look like a, an unhealthy thing to be doing even these days. So if I were going to do something now, I think I might just put on a little bit of something or other to enhance my eyes. So I took off the mascara, so my eyes are kind of fading out. So I'm going to put on just a little bit of this Jones Road Eye Pencil in the shade Ivy, just to kind of give my, hand, my eyes a little bit of enhancement color. And I'll just kind of put that near the lash line since it's sort of a substitute for not wearing any mascara. So one more product from Jones Road for the summer that I kind of like is this powder eyeshadow in the shade Copper. So I'll just put a little bit of that on as well, just to give a little bit of shimmer to my eyes. And then I will blend this in. And then this again is that lipstick in the shade Pink Rose. So obviously what people often do with a product like this is to mix it into a foundation or to a moisturizer and then use it all over the face. This is a little bit trickier because you're going to be using it all over the, the whole face so it's less like a, a blush and you uh, need, really need the undertone to be even better than if you're just using it uh, on certain areas of the face. But I'm going to try to give this a, a little try. I've been experimenting with that. So I took off all of my makeup be uh, before, and so I'm going to just put on uh, my eyebrows and a little bit of face pencil again, and cover up uh, whatever redness I see. And I don't think that my face has gotten any worse uh, after removing in, uh, my makeup twice so far. I think that the uh, the gel bronzer works fine for me. I don't feel it has any irritation 
Uh, so I'm really happy about that. So this is a foundation product that I use on a regular basis. Uh, this is from Jane Iredale and it is called Hydro Pure and it really just has a small amount of tint in it but it serves uh, for me either as a primer or as something that kind of helps with the finish of my face. But again, it has very little color in it. So what I'm going to do is to mix a little bit of, so you can see what it looks like on my hand. There really is very little color to this product at all. So let's try just putting a little bit of this on so you can see what it looks like on my face. And then I'll mix a little bit more of it, uh, I think with both colors. So I feel like for me, the bronzer that would be ideal for me would have a bit of a peach tone to it. And so in this case, I have one bronzer that's a little bit too yellow and I have one bronzer that's a little bit too red. So I feel like if I can mix just a tiny little bit of each of these colors into this uh, sort of colorless base, that I can start to get something that's uh, approaching what my skin might look like if it were being tanned naturally. So let's see if I can do it this time. So I'm just going to put a tiny little smidgen of the red kind on my hand here. And then I will put a tiny smidgen of this uh, light color with it's a little bit on the yellow side. And then just mix it all up. So if you have a foundation that you've been using in the winter and it's too light for you and then it gets to be summer and you would like for it to look a little bit darker either to make yourself look more bronzed or to match your natural skin tone then that might work um, but uh, it's a little bit tricky and you might find that just one shade does not do it for you but i feel like for me if i use this product like this that it starts to look like it's something that's that's fairly natural. And it's such a clear base that it doesn't look like I've got heavy makeup on. Because it's not really trying to cover up anything, it's just giving me an overall color. So I don't know if you can tell, uh, but I, I think that this is a, a pretty good match for my skin tone and what my skin tone might look like if I uh, manage to get uh, more sun than, uh, than is probably good for my skin during the rest of the summer. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a good match if I use both of these colors. So even though it was kind of uh, expensive to buy both colors, for me I think it turned out to be something that I might be able to use for this purpose. This is the new uh, Jones Road just a sec eyeshadow that I have in their new light pink color. And this really looks like more like a golden pink, which is why I've been kind of enjoying using it during the summer months. Kind of a golden taupey pink. And I'll put on a little bit of this brown eye pencil from Jones Road. And then maybe this is looking a little bit shiny. So I think I might put on a little bit of this new Jones Road powder. This is just the color light. So this is kind of a neutral color for me. And I have a uh, lip and cheek stick from Jones Road in the color Bright Coral, so I'll just finish the look with that. And you know, I really like these lip and cheek sticks quite a lot. I feel like every time I use them, I'm really sorry I don't use them more often because they seem to work really well on both my lips and my cheeks. And they're, they're not annoying to my face at all. And I think that they're really pretty and they're really pretty colors. So 
And the only warning that I really have with this, these gel bronzers is that if you decide to use them as a mix-in, then either use them very lightly or be really careful with the undertones. Uh, and you might uh, not be able to find the undertone that you need if you just get one color. Now, if you have a really kind of a yellow undertone, then that lighter, lighter color might work. If you have a kind of a pink undertone, then the, the pink color might work. But uh, it's a little bit on the tricky side, which I think could be part of why they're suggesting layering rather than using them as a mix-in. Come be in the video, please. Coco be in the video and then we go out. Come on. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh my gosh, how did we get all tangled? All right. <laughs> oh, thank you, Coco. We need you. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. And if you have ever tried any gel bronzers of any any type or any brand, then please let us know what you thought of them. In addition, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, then I hope you will go ahead and do that. And Coco and I love you very much. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for being in the video, Coco.